between your skin and bones there is muscle and there's fat obviously there's other little things going on like you know tendons ligaments and stuff like that okay so if you are or if your client is pretty much over the age of 20 and they've done nothing about it before now then pretty much they've been steadily gaining one thing and losing another and so sadly what you're gaining is probably fat and what you're losing is muscle and this happens naturally when you're not doing anything to prevent it like um, lifting heavy and eating enough and eating enough protein some of the things that I discussed in a previous broadcast so that this happens almost naturally with age but a big part of it is because of being sedentary and also of not using and engaging the muscles so the reason why I go through this is because I know as trainers a lot of times we're always trying to get our clients to lift and maybe they just feel like well I don't really want muscle and they just think that it's about being ripped so maybe they feel like um, as long as I'm getting skinny what's the point but what they need to understand is the bigger picture is the, the more times you repeat this this weight loss process the more muscle that you are losing and the more fat that you are gaining when you gain it back you, you're losing especially when you're losing it fast the faster you're losing it the more likely you are experiencing muscle loss which means that when you gain it back you're gaining back more fat than necessary and you have less muscle so you are whereas maybe the first time you lost weight you had you know a little bit of muscle on there you lose some of the fat and you can actually see the muscle the more times you yo-yo and the more fat layers that you have then a every time you gain more weight and you have to lose even more before you even get to any kind of resemblance of muscle so you actually have to lose more weight each time because you have less muscle each time so it's not even about just maintaining your actual weight because even if you maintain your weight if you haven't done anything to preserve that muscle that like tone look that a lot of people are looking for whereas you may have gotten it the first diet you know the second third fourth fifth you may get to the exact same weight and you'll notice that you don't look the same you look a little bit softer you're not toned you know the cardio isn't working like it used to whatever the case may be you have to know that we don't actually even have to try to be this person <laughs> we don't really even have to try to gain fat it happens naturally with yo-yo dieting but you have to try to gain muscle so when you get to a point when you get to this point where you've lost so much muscle often what appears to be a fat problem a too much fat problem is actually a too little muscle problem it's very important to see that muscle means so much more than just you know like we just think like oh well, I don't want to look like a bodybuilder so but it's, it's not really about that so I just want to point this out because you know as trainers we, we want our people to lift but sometimes we even have to remember why we want them to lift because what looks like maybe from the outside is it's like they just want to lose more fat and they're like I need to lose as much muscle as possible I mean as much weight as possible if they don't have enough muscle under there it's making your job harder it's making their job harder and they're not gonna look like they want to when they finally lose that weight so it's just it's a mirage of thinking like oh I have too much fat so this is I like to call it like like drilling for water in the desert when you're at this weight loss stage like you have to go so far and take off so many layers of fat before you even see the slightest resemblance of muscle and by the time you get there it's so hard to maintain it's good to have like little visuals like this for your clients because for us it's second nature and we lift and we do all these things because we love it we love the fit life but they have to know that you know that there's a bigger picture here